and welcome to another episode of MDI TV, brought to you by Poorly Creative. My name is Pratesh Patel, and today I'll be talking about five things to consider um, before you start your email marketing strategy. Um, predominantly because when you start off with email marketing, you just assume that it's um, sending out 10,000 emails to 10,000 contacts um, and, and not really segmenting your customers into specific buckets and then giving them relevant information and relevant um, content. So the first thing to consider is, is your audience. Um, who are you actually trying to get this email to? What kind of messages will, will be within the email uh, for that particular audience? So you may just want to focus on new customers. You know, uh, Clients that you've acquired in the last 12 months, you may want to introduce uh, email as a way of communicating with these new customers and make them aware of um, other products that you do. So customers who are not aware of products X, Y and Z. Um, somebody who's bought, uh, for example, uh, or specified a particular product, um, how can you then uh, communicate with them that you also do other products which uh, come within the range or a particular installation? Um, prospects, so customers, not customers, um, people who have called you up or they've requested a brochure or they've asked for a sample, they're in your database, you know there's a project but that project might not happen for another 18, 24 months. Um, how can you use email um, to better target these prospects, to keep the brand in, in front of their minds as well? Um, you may have a specification tool, you may have an online specification tool uh, that requires registrations. Um, if you're like me, I will sign up to lots and lots of tools so that I think one day they'll come in handy, they'll, they'll be something useful. Um, and then I forget that I've signed up. So keep in tabs on registrations. Um, so if somebody's, if you've, somebody's signed up for a particular tool or uh, an area on your website um, and they've not logged back in or they've not come back to your website uh, to con consume more content or use the tool, how can you use email to remind them that they've signed up for this tool, it's valuable, it'll help them uh, improve their job or make their job a lot easier? Um, customers not contacted in the last six months, how can you use email to help your business development or specification managers uh, keep a tab of all their customers and make sure that the brand is kept at the forefront um, of their minds? So, have a look and just extract from your CRM those contacts that haven't been contacted for six months, 12 months, and introduce a email marketing strategy. But remember, think about the, um, the, the, the messaging uh, for each of those types of audiences. You can't just send one newsletter aimed at all of these audiences. Um, it's about segmentation and delivering the right message um, in the right way. Um, secondly, objectives. Give yourself some objectives, uh, depending on what your, who your audience is. Um, are you promoting products? Are you promoting events? If you're promoting events, what type of audience is it more relevant for? Is it existing customers? Is it uh, prospects? They require a CPD in order to just to push them that little bit further down the um, specification cycle, if you like. Um, reignite lost contacts, this goes back to customers um, not contacted within six months, they've contacted you, you they've forgot, uh, and it's a way of just introducing, hey, we're still here, we've still got these products, we've got some new products, we've got some events coming up, um, let's talk. Um, cleansing database, and this is a great way of, if you've, if you've not actively got a department or somebody that cleanses a database, email could be a great way of just deleting or eliminating old contacts. Um, I shouldn't say deleting, I should be saying uh, replacing. So you'll send out an email, uh, you might get 200, 300,000, 2,000 contacts, uh, email addresses that bounce back. Uh, this is a great way of using that data to then give to your telemarketing uh, people uh, and get them to ring the companies. Have that, has that contact left the company? Have they been re replaced? Um, has the branch closed down? Um, it's a way of just uh, refreshing that database and, and getting new contacts um, and eliminating those old ones. Feed content, you know, using email, uh, we want, we've got a blog, we've got um, case studies, we've got some great videos. Um, it's a way of delivering that content um, to your audience. And again, remember, who wants that type of content? Do your customers really want to hear um, about case studies? If so, then it may be your customers. Or is it more likely to be beneficial to prospects? 
Um, or is it more likely to be beneficial to those who have always specified or always, always bought product X? Um, is that email going to be more efficient or more relevant to those and remind them of other products that you do? Um, then moving on to devices, remember to think about devices and, and have a look at your analytics at how much mobile traffic has come to your website from emails that you've already done or um, from mobile devices that have come to your website. So more and more people are accessing emails on a mobile or a tablet, iPad, iPhone for example. Um, what device will they be using? How will your um, email be displayed on an iPhone? And then if I click on a link on the iPhone um, and it takes me to your website or a landing page, is that website or landing page um, friendly for on a mobile device or a tablet device? Can I book an event? Can I download a brochure? Can I uh, register? Uh, can I um, also view other products on a mobile or a, a tablet device? Time as well. Um, People often ask, well, what the best time to send an email is on a Monday morning uh, or a Friday afternoon or a Wednesday evening. Um, it's really about kind of testing and understanding what type of content works well. So um, if it's a, an event kind of email, you might find that it works better on a uh, Wednesday. Um, if it's a content-based um, email, it might work better on a Friday or it might work better on a, a weekend. And it's really about... Um, testing to find when you get the best opens and click-throughs um, but also don't get too uh, hung up on when when to best send the email if it's something that's regular um, do keep it periodical so for example we send out our my digital insider articles um, on the second uh, second week of every month um, and our blog roundup goes out to our uh, database at the end of every month. So every uh, week two and week four of, of every month, an email marketing activity goes out. And, and we expect our database to kind of expect that they're about to receive an e email uh, from us. Um, if it's a promotional one, it could be ad hoc. But think about um, time as well. Uh, one that I absolutely advocate is testing. Um, your first email is not gonna be the answer. It's not gonna be the silver bullet. Um, Test the design, do different colours, different um, images, uh, bigger images, smaller images, more copy, less copy. The layout, do you need a sidebar on the right, do you need bigger links, do you need bigger buttons, uh, which leads on to call to actions. Um, should you say book now or should you say register now, um, should you say download now or request now, or what types of different calls to actions uh, produce the better results. Testing the subject line um, and also the sender. Is it do more people click through when it's sent by somebody, or do we see more click throughs if it's sent by a brand? So, an email received by Poorly Creative may get better results as opposed to somebody uh, if it's a personal type email. Think about the offer as well. So, what are you actually um, trying to get somebody to do, or book, or register? Um, think about the offer. Is that offer actually really compelling? And when they click through, is the offer still consistent on landing pages? Um, we see quite a few emails of late, um, subscribe to a lot of newsletters uh, from various construction companies. One of the concerns that I have is when you click through the inconsistency between the messaging on the email and the messaging on the actual landing page. The offer has to be consistent. Um, hopefully that's given you some insight into um, five key things that you need to consider before developing an email marketing strategy um, and, and one of the key points for me would be the segmentation. Look at your database. Don't, please don't send out 10,000 emails, 20,000 emails and expect um, returns. It's really about breaking down your audience into smaller buckets and sending more smaller, more relevant, um, more quality type uh, emails out to your database. If you've got any questions, please do tweet us at Poorly Creative. Um, we've got a uh, SEO workshop with myself if you want to know more about search engine optimization and looking at how to measure uh, your SEO efforts using Google Analytics. Uh, we've got a workshop on 19th of April. If you go to bit.ly forward slash MDI Events 2012, you'll be able to book uh, or reserve your places uh, through our landing page there. Thanks for joining us. Join us next time.